Figit plugin tutorials. Today's episode we are going to talk about libraries and how to use them. For season 2 I've switched to Minecraft 1.13 so make sure that in your plugin.yml you state API version 1.13 so that the server also knows to use that version. So let's get started. A library is just a simple collection of useful methods like the one we did with the item stack utility a couple of episodes uh, into season one. I do not know exactly which episode it was anymore, but make sure to check that out, which was a really useful episode. And that collection of methods can be implemented into another plugin as uh, like you do with the Spigot API, like an external jar source, whatever uh, your IDE uses. You can also use it through Maven, which I am not sure about how to do that, but there's plenty of people in Discord which can help you. Link is in the description. Make sure to join if you have any questions or just want to hang out. Okay, so I named mine GHG Lib, stands for GHG Library, of course. Uh, everybody knows that. And I also plan on uploading the library to GitHub so that you can suggest additions or changes or whatever you want. If you don't like something, maybe you suggest a removal, it won't be approved, but you can try. And the link for that will also be in the description and also be on the Discord, so make sure to join. So there's multiple ways of making a library, but we are just going to go with the simplest version, which is we are going to create static methods in certain classes so that everybody can use this library. There's also a, the service manager that's provided by Bucket, but we're not going to use that. Maybe in a later episode I will explain how this works, but for now we're just going to keep to static methods. So uh, just as the item example I named earlier, uh, I'm going to create a new I way of creating an item stack, which is similar to that episode. So make sure to watch that as well. And we are going to create a new package over here. So uh, I'm going to call this crafting, which will contain everything that can be used for crafting, maybe even custom recipes uh, in a future episode. So inside this package, I'm going to create a class named item. And you need to make sure that this doesn't um, overlap with any of the Spigot API static methods. I'm sure, pretty sure item isn't a class over there that has any static methods, but just check it in case you want to suggest an addition uh, that it doesn't overlap or overrule anything. Okay, so with a library, it's useful to keep names consistent. So uh, later on, I do not want to change the name item, since if I change the name item, then any use of that uh, item class will also need to be changed. And if there's like 100 people using your library, there's 100 people that need to change that into their plugins, and that's just a huge mess. So if you choose a name, you need to stick with it. So make sure to choose a appropriate name, like item, if you want to create an item stack. Can't choose item stack because that one's already taken by the Spigot API itself. The same goes for method names and method inputs. So what we are going to do here is create a public static. I will explain in a second what static is. Uh, you might already know it, but I'm just going to explain it anyways. So we are going to say public static item stack create, which is going to take in a couple of parameters. Uh, which is a material to design the material of the item stack and since we're just doing something custom We can also tell it to have a name with a string of course So uh, a static is a method that you can use without instantiating instantiating the class item and uh, It's really useful for libraries that do not take any data from the actual plugin itself. So this method is not taking any data, any local data from the GHG lib plugin. It's giving me an error right now because I need to re actually return an item stack. As you can see, I didn't use void over here. I used item stack, which is the return type. So void is actually a way of saying we do not return any data. So we are going to return an item stack over here. Uh, we are going to create the item stack. Just call it item with a lower, uh, with a lower I no capital because that's the class name. So new item stack, and the material is going to be material. Now, 
Uh, we also want to get the item meta. This is all uh, stuff you should already know. If you don't, make sure you check out yeah, season one of this series. Uh, my computer is lagging a bit. I'm sorry. And uh, item meta dot set display name, which should be meta. I'm sorry. Display name, name. And then we are also going to set the item meta of the item to meta and we are going to return the item stack item. Because the library is probably going to be used by other people that do not know exactly how the code works, we are also going to make sure that we document everything correctly. And in Eclipse it's really easy, you just do a forward slash with two little stars and then you press enter and you get like a little summary of your method. So as a parameter, it takes a material and name and it returns uh, the item stack. So what you do is you type a little uh, explanation over here. This method creates an item stack of the given material with the given name. And then material name and it returns the requested item stack, of course. And now it's actually ready to be uh, add it into another plugin. To add the library to another plugin, you just export it and then import it as you do with the Spigot API. So I've created a little plugin over here called LibTest and uh, it just as a simple listener implemented into the main class. You shouldn't do that, but for testing and tutorial purposes, it's just easy. And I've also created a on player join player join event method. If you do not know what all of this is, make sure to check out the older episodes and you will get the information you need. So all we have to do is simply add a little line over here, either get player to get the player of course, to get inventory dot add item. Now we are going to call on the item, uh, which is me dot ghg dot crafting as you can see, item dot create material uh, let's do this wooden axe and over here let's call it chopper and all this does is just simply give the item a wooden axe called chopper on join using our library so if you want to use the this plugin and the library on your server make sure they're both in the plugins folder otherwise you will get an error I've started up my test server let's join the server and check if this works. As you can see I've got a wooden axe called chopper in my inventory. And that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and make sure to join the discord to get more information on the GitHub library. Thanks for watching. Bye.